Okay, okay. You like the airplane? Yeah. Let me sit down while you play. Yeah. Entertain me. Let me hear. This one I wrote at three years ago while I was out in Nevada. Oh, I play upside down too. Yeah, I mean, I was too shy to ask anybody how to uh, <laughs> teach me and stuff, so I learned uh, the wrong way, I guess, the upside down way. <laughs> No, Jimmy Hendrix play like that. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't think like this, though. I, mean, I think it's, uh, <laughs> but here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. I've been working at Kentucky Fried Chicken, I thought you know. I've been keeping it finger licking way down below. 16 hours working with beaks. Christ, give my life some sleep. And I've been working at Kentucky Fried Chicken, oh boy. Well, I've been working at Taco Bell, I thought you heard. I've been giving those burritos hell way down in turd. 16 hours working with cheese, Christ, take my life, please. And I've been working at Taco Bell, just shoot me. Well, I've been working at Starbucks, honey, I thought you heard. I've been selling those Frappuccinos, angry old birds. Taking coffee, taking tips, sleeping at night in fits. And I've been working at Starbucks, God kill me. One more verse. I've been working on Wall Street, baby, I thought you know. I've been using that gold toilet paper way down below. Taking cocaine, banging strippers, making everybody a little less richer. And I've been working on Wall Street, baby, oh lord. Cool. That Kentucky Fried Chicken thing got me when I... <laughs> when you hear that rooster, you know... There's a rooster in the commercials? No, I just put it there. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't see that. They don't use rooster meat no, in... Don't. Oh my god, that would be disgusting. But you don't know? Oh, don't, don't kill Christmas. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> If they use a rooster, you don't you don't know. All you know if you're sitting, you can talk about chicken, you walk around and you, and you hear this sound, somebody go, Arr! you say, uh-oh. Yeah, rooster. Because <laughs> the hand is on the ground. Oh, I love your rooster noise. Yeah, man. Can I play one more for you? Sure. Maybe God has a DVD that he records you and me and lets his drinking buddies watch us fuck up while they're laughing their asses off. It's like someone put a little condom on my dreams because now I can't feel a single thing. It's like someone put a little Trojan on my dreams because now I can't feel a fucking thing. You got a fast car, it can get us out of here But it's like this everywhere, so we're screwed anyhow Learn to fake laugh at all your friends' jokes In five Fantasia and a whole lot of dope It's like someone put a little condom on my dreams Cause now I can't feel a single thing It's like someone put a little Trojan on my dreams Cause now I can't feel a single thing Everybody, I yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What's everybody doing? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I could play that. I wonder if I could play that upside down. Play it the other way. Would it? Would it? Would it play? Are you left-handed? No. Are you right-handed? But the keys still are the yeah, same. Yeah. Everything's the same. Want to give it a try? Got your pick. Oh yeah, I got a couple of picks. I don't play very good, but I'll try to see. Oh, if I like can. I'm really dominating it. <laughs> <laughs> like I was killing it right there. I don't play very good. Whew. Okay. Let me see how you did it here. Yeah. Okay. All well, smoke and mirrors. I'm a rookie, so y'all. No, I don't need that. Wait. Well, let me. Let me see. Let me see. Angie, not yet, not yet. Yes, bring it back. One, two, three, four, one. Up early every morning, gotta go to work. I hear that sound in the barn oh, no. from that crazy jerk. Crazy. It's like an 
alarm clock. Uh, uh, uh. That early in the morning. Uh, uh, uh. I know I gotta go to work. When I hear that sound. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Crazy rooster, baby. <laughs> Little red rooster. I just learned how to play. Right now? Oh, it's a miracle. <laughs> Holy fuck! He never played guitar before. He had a G chord right here. This park is creating amazement. It's not just the mushrooms. Great, non mushrooms. Stay straight, kids. It's a. They haven't. Today is a great day. Um, this is the great election year for for the American people. Sadly, uh, we're not going to get the, the candidate to represent the American people. But we're going to have to get someone to be president of the United States just to be president of the United States and not represent the United States as president. But they're president to represent themselves. Sadly, the American people need better. But we have the two-party system, like Jesse Ventura say, you can't get nothing good from this two-party dominating system. And they're not talking about the American people. You haven't heard anything about the American people. They're talking about each other. They're battling for each other. And, but that is not what we need to hear. It's critical economic time. Neither one of them know how to deal with it. Because it is Barack Obama's laws that got us in this financial economic hole that we're in. Between George Bush and Barack Obama, they're all just alike. There are no different. Mick Romney, George Bush, and Barack Obama, they're all, if you vote for one, it's like voting for either one. It don't matter. Because the American people are not being talked about. For the senior citizens, they have money coming in from different benefits. But for the young people, they have nothing coming in. College tuition should be waived. So somebody said, well, what can the American government do to get, the American, to get America out of this hole we're in? The American president should waive the debt of the American people. If the President Barack Obama gave $50, $50 billion to General Motors, $50 billion to Chase Bank, Bank of America, City Corps, Discovery, American Express, gave $50 billion to every one of these corporations, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley. If you gave these companies the people's money to bail them out, then it's time for you to bail the American people out. What is the problem? College tuition, waived. Mortgage, waived. Someone said, well, well, the president can't waive mortgage. Well, the president did it with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac blew $800 billion, and the president pat him on the back and said, run along. It's forgiven. If you can say forgiven to them and, and, and then out from the people's money, then why can't you do it for the people? I have a problem with that, and you all got to be more voice and vocal on it. Go to rent too damn high.org and buy a button, buy a t-shirt or something. Give me the voice that I need. This is pure, this is pure America. Nothing, nothing scientific about what we're saying. You need to take a vacation. When's the last time you had a vacation? You can't go no place. Yeah. Too expensive. Can't go in five years. Can't go. I can't to afford to go any place. Yep. If one person can say I can afford to go, you don't. You're not alone in this. I represent the millions of people who can't afford to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Young men and women who want to get married can't get married. When your loved ones die, you can't even afford to bury them. They have them sitting in the morgue right now. Somebody's have been there for the past 15 years on ice because they don't have the money to bury the dead. When you get to the point where we become a country, you can't bury your dead. What kind of country we have become? Have we become? We need to focus on a more serious matter. Talk about rent. Talk about having money to spend. Those who, oh, I don't want to talk. It's not about rent. It's the, it's the, when they say that, I know they're talking about themselves. I don't want to talk to you. I'm talking about the young men and women who need to get married and start raising a family. When's the last time you kissed somebody? When's the last time you held somebody's hand? Yeah, the When's the last took time you away. said somebody I love you? You know, my testosterone level is running over. When is, I need help with it. But the question is that it's all about love. When you bring the love back, you bring a country back. And that is something we don't have. Mitt Romney came on television during the Republican convention. He gave a speech. He didn't give a speech for President of the United States. I feel embarrassed to say that I'm a Republican, I was a Republican. He gave a speech as though he was running for governor of, the, of a state. Learn how to be President of the United States. All of them. President Barack Obama. You're the President of the United States. You do not discuss military issues on campaign floors to get elected. Where's the national security? I'm a Vietnam veteran. You did it to us in Vietnam. And every time we went to raid a shack in Vietnam, they had Coca-Cola cans waiting on them. Let us know, punk. That's what they call us, punk. 
So you don't, some things you keep out of your mouth on campaign floor. Mick Romney don't know no better, so I don't have to talk about him. What am I doing if I'm your dad? Every child is my child. There are some things that daddy don't have to tell you. It's none of your business. You go to school to learn reading and writing and arithmetic. But, but daddy, oh, let me back up, my child. You're not going to school. When you go to a place they call S-C-H-O-O-L, that's a job. I go to work and bring home the bacon. You go to school and bring home the bacon. The bacon is those grades in school. But daddy, I need to go to college. But well, like I said, daddy got to fight to make sure your college tuition is free. I'm 65 years of age. College tuition for me was free. Why should it be free for you? Oh, now that we've graduated, they pull up the ladder and say, okay, now you're on your own. You all got to fight for what is right. Stop listening to all these liberals, these progressive and all this. Think America. Think America. When you go to the toilet and you wipe your behind with charming toilet tissue, that's the government toilet paper. Yes? <laughs> they bugged it?